Hey guys, Modern Day Sportsman here. Today we're going to be uh, building a forge for um, metalworking and forging knives or um, smaller bits of equipment. So, uh, first thing is select a nice piece of uh, ground to, uh, to uh, build your forge. I'm choosing the spot right here beside the fire pit. The ground is uh, pretty soft, big, um, and it's uh, in the sun. I find that when you're working in the sun, it helps. Um, to judge the quality of your steel. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is decide on how big you want your forge. I'm building a forge for um, knives and small axes. So the first thing we want to do is uh, dig a pit. So as you can see, I've dug a pit. It's about two by two. That should be good. Now I'm going to grab a tamp tapping tool and I'm just going to tap it flat and compact. Now is the time to uh, tweak out your base. Like I said, this is just a small forge. Okay, now that we have our base tamped, we want to select um, bricks for our forge. I'm using these, um, these they're, I believe they're 4 or 5x5. Five um, bricks there for uh, walkways. I had some old ones laying around. So what we're going to do is position one in each corner. Just like that. And we want to line it all up the best we can. Now these are our four base bricks. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a couple more bricks. Stack. What I want, ideally, is to have some space for airflow underneath. So you could use a larger top brick, or I can just stick with this. And I just want to have two spots for airflow underneath. Fix the position of this corner brick, and there we have it. Next, we're gonna grab couple more bricks and again we want to position it so we can stack it in a plus shape from here on all there really is to do is stack more bricks these bricks from an old fire pit and we want to keep them as close as we can together so we can really concentrate the heat in the forge and I left um, some space at the bottom also so you could attach a bellows to increase the heat very quickly One more layer and we should be good. Okay, so there you have it. That's our completed forge. Now what you want to do is either get coal or charcoal. I've gone ahead and uh, um, burnt some yard waste and I made some fine charcoal and you just want to pack that into the base. You want to have a nice little layer at the bottom. And my shovel. Once you have a base that goes up about two bricks, you're ready to add 
your bigger charcoal or coal. And then you can add your bellows on this side, or you could remove a brick and add your bellows. There it is, that's a uh, homemade budget mini knife or tomahawk uh, forge. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.